back. Today I want to take a look at the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6 by 24 AR scope and it does have a bullet drop compensator reticle in it. First thing I want to show you guys is it has these really nice flip up caps and these flip up caps are pretty nice. They're not cheap and flimsy. It looks like they will last. Here's the rear one. We'll go ahead and flip that up. Now one thing I want to do while I got this back flipped up is I want to look at the uh, this does have illumination reticle and it's hard to really do a scope on camera so with this front uh, cap closed I'm going to do the reticle so you guys can see what it is. This is going to be the first setting. That's one, two, it don't really start brightening up till about four three four now you can start seeing it there's five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that right there is the brightest setting and you can tell the camera is trying to adjust like I said, doing a scope is like one of the hardest things to do on a camera. If we go further away, maybe it'll change it. And then we'll take it off. Okay, so this reticle is what it looks like inside of the scope. Okay, since we were at the adjustment there, we'll talk about that. The knurling on it is really good. The one thing I would like to see though is a on or a off in between every one of those numbers try to get the numbers there you can see the dot in with it by zero that's how you adjust it get that cap down here and that's how you go through all of it like I said it'd be nice to have a off in between all of those now the knurling on this is really good and if we spin the end knurling right here we'll see what's in there and that's where our, our battery is housed for the illumination. So we're going to take the up and down turret cap off. And the knurling on that is real good too. So the one thing I could tell you about this is it's really tactile and all audible when you turn it. The one thing I like about this is you have a dot right down here and then what you can do is is when you get zeroed there's a little line right in here you can stick a thumbnail or something and you can rotate this dial and that's how you put yourself back to zero so you just put the zero back on that dot down over here and then you know your rifle rifle is zeroed again so we're going to put our zero mark right over there, right on that dot, just like that. So now we're zeroed if this was zeroed to the gun. Like I said, it's real audible tactile and I really like it. So we're going to put that cap back on here. And inside this cap is your windage. And your windage is set up the same way as the top one you can rotate it around real audible and everything and then you can adjust it back to your zero now inside of this cap we have a spare battery for the illuminated reticle all right your ocular adjustment plus and minus and it's real easy to get a hold of the move but it don't move easy if you bump it up against something and i really like that and then back here we have our one to six adjustment. Now on this it's not real hard, but it's also not too easy. So I don't see it getting knocked around real easy and knocking you off if you bump it on something. That makes it real nice. Okay, now I wanna give you some specs on it. The tube size is 30 millimeter. The total length of it is 10 and a half inches. The weight is 17.6 ounces, which I will uh, check that here. I got my scale with and we'll see if that's right. It says the eye relief is three and a half inches. 
The adjustment is half MOA. The travel per rotation is 44 MOA. And the max adjustment is 140 MOA. Now, as I showed you, it does come with the flip up caps, the two uh, batteries, and it does come with a microfiber cloth. Now, on the reticle, the glass is etched with the reticle. It is uh, calibrated for a 556, and as I showed you, it does have the uh, lemon, uh, illumination levels. Now, the uh, reticle on here is fully multi coated with anti reflective lens coating. It also is nitrogen purged and it is shock proof. The body is made of aircraft grade aluminum alloy, hard iodized black matte finish. It does have that fast focus eyepiece and it does have the cap turrets which I already showed you. Now it says the weight on this thing is 17.6 ounces. Let's go ahead and try this and see what it says. And we are coming up with one pound 1.8 ounces so we are pretty close there so that looks good okay so now we're back out at the rifle range today i got the uh vortex strike eagle mounted back up on my daughter's uh ar-15 and we're gonna sight it in here real quick um we're at 50 yards like vortex says in the book to do the 50 yards is to use the bullet drop compensator so it works right um when i um sight in ARs I just use cheap Tula ammo to get close and then if I'm using a hunting round or something I'll re-zero with that just because it's cheaper to shoot Tula than it is hunting rounds so let's put the mag in and let's get started Okay, those look like they're all going to the left. Now you do want to make sure you're on six power at 50 yards to sight this in for that bullet uh, drop compensator to work right. I'll grab another mag and put another three shots after adjustments. All right, we got three more rounds in. Let's see if that adjustment put us on yet. Okay, looking through it looks like we still need to come to the right a little bit more. It looks like our windage is, windage is pretty good. Okay, grab another mag, see how that goes. Let's go ahead and give her another shot. All right, it looks like we are now on the circle I got down there. I'm gonna bring it two clicks more to the right. Uh, I think I got another mag in here with three in it. I'm gonna put three more shots on it, then I'll take you down there so we can look at the targets down here. All right, let's go ahead and go down there and take a look at it. Just like to give a shout out to Kate at Vortex Optics and Customer Service. You rock, Kate. Just wanted to put that in there for you. Okay, and as we can see here, what I did was is I put a three inch sticker up here. And you can see how the first shots were here. I moved it over. And then my last three shots were right here. So I'd say that's pretty good. 50 yards with Tula ammo. I got lucky and my uh, elevation was good right off the bat after remounting it, so I just had to walk it over here. It might be a tad bit high, 
but it also could be me the way I'm shooting. All right, so let's go back and go to 100 and see if we can hit this steel plate down here. Let's go back to 100 and see how we do there. Okay, so we're out here at a 100 yards, so I'm gonna see if I can make that uh, steel down there ring. I got five shots in this mag, and then I got five shots in this mag, and that's all the ammo that I got left that I brought out. And then we'll end the video after that. All right, let's get started here. Get comfortable here. All right. That was a hit. And we got another hit. And another. I'll tell you what guys, if you guys ain't shooting like out past, I'd say 200 yards, these one to six scopes are the way to go. I got this set on six power. 100 yards, I can see that plate perfectly clear through this scope. And I just nailed it all five times right dead center with absolutely no issues. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the camera down. I don't have a zoom on my camera that works real well. I'm just going to turn you down that way. And we're going to see if I can get an angle of the gun and the targets for you guys to check that out with these five shots. I'll be right back. Now I got 10 more rounds in the hex mag and let's do that and see how those work. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6. Do I think this is a great scope? Yes, I do. I would highly recommend this scope to anybody. If you're looking for, I'm going to say, about a out to 300 yard scope, I think this 1 to 6 wouldn't be a bad choice at all. Mostly if you're doing like uh, anywhere from 20 to 300 yards, I think it's going to be a pretty good scope for you. Only thing I really don't like about it is on the illuminations. I wish there was an off in between every number. Instead of having to go all the way back to zero to shut it off, you could put it on your favorite setting, just move it one click, and it would be off, and then move it back one click, and it would be on your favorite setting. That's about the only thing I really don't like about this scope. But besides that, I do highly recommend it. So if you want to get a good scope for around the $350 price point, go ahead and get yourself a Vortex Strike Eagle. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one.